discuss about our 12th lesson. What is the lesson? Biological process in Sinhala Jaiva Kriyavali or otherwise GV Kriyavali. So in this lesson we are going to discuss about our body. What are the inside organs in our body and what are the systems? Okay, let's start. Turn to page number 11 in your textbook. Okay, you can see the pictures here. There are two pictures. The first one, there is a wall. That's a wall. This wall is made up of numerous bricks. And also here, what is this one? This is a beehive. Beehive me? Me was there. So in here, the beehive also made up of numerous hexagonal units. Here, the building unit is a hexagonal unit. Chadastrakara unit. Okay, here, the building unit is a brick. Okay, in same way, think about our body. Think about your body. So, our body also made up of large number of units, building units. So, what is the basic unit? Basic unit is cell, structural unit of living organism. Living organism means plants and animals, both. So, structural unit of living organism is the cell. Our our body is made up of number of cells, numerous cells, okay? So, structural unit of plant we call it as plant cell. Then, structural unit of animal we call it as animal cell. So, there are two types of cells, plant cells and animal cell. Then again, look at your book. There are two pictures. This is animal cell and this is plant cell. So, there are some differences in between plant cell and animal cell. We have to do, a, do an activity. Activity 12.1. Here, we have to observe a plant cell and an animal cell. We have to take the lower epidermis of beetle leaf. The lower epidermis. Lower epidermis of beetle leaf. And we have to take cheek cells as an animal cell. Then we have to observe these two types of cells through light microscope. Okay, turn to page, another page. Page number 12, you can see the plant cell here. This is plant cell and this is animal cell. You can observe what are the differences. You can see... Most of the organisms are made up of numerous cells. But there are some organisms, they are represented by a single cell. Only one cell, that means single cell. So here, the cell, this cell is act as a basic functional unit. Cell is act as a basic functional unit. But in previously, we have discussed that cell is a basic structural unit. So we can say cell is structural and a functional unit of organisms. So what are the unicellular organisms? That means the organisms represented by a single cell. We call those organisms as a unicellular organisms. They are represented by one cell. So what are the examples? I think you have seen these pictures. The pictures of Amoeba, Eugrina and Paramecium. Turn to page number 12. There are some pictures. Amoeba. This is Amoeba. Euglena And Paramecium. Okay. We can see these organisms by using light microscope you have to do activity 12.2 here we have to take a sample of water from a fresh water pond and we can take another water sample in 
he is stagnated water he is stagnated water then we have to observe both of these samples by using light microscope then we can see we can observe if unicellular organisms like amoeba paramecium the materials a compound light microscope glass slides cover slips cup of pond water dropper procedure bring the pond water in a glass cup add a drop of pond water on the slide and cover it with a cover slip make sure that there are no air bubbles and press on the cover slip carefully place the slide on the stage and move the course adjustment to get the clearest possible image amoeba and they live in ponds paramecium and they live in ponds too there are other organisms like euglena the organizational levels in the body organizational levels in the body in singhala we call it as jeevi dehe samvidana matta jeevi dehe samvidana matta now you know who are the unicellular organisms unicellular organisms except these unicellular organisms the other organisms contain or made up of few or large number of cells so these other organisms we called as multicellular organisms multicellular organisms that mean the organisms made up of few cells so large number of cells they are multicellular organisms so these multicellular organisms show the organ organizational levels in their body think about us human human also a multicellular organism because our body the human body is made up of a large number of cells Okay, we are multicellular organisms. So these multicellular organisms show level of organization. These are the level of organization. So here the simple level to complex level. There are levels one, two, three, four, five. Five level. Cell is the simple level. simple level of organization this is cell then tissues then organs then systems and then organisms okay in this chapter we are going to discuss about each and every level of organization okay let's start first organizational level is the cell cell 
that is the simple level of organization to know about this organization so it, this is the basic structural and functional unit of the organism basic structural and functional unit of the organism that is the cell second organizational level is tissue tissue so this tissue is made up of group of cells group of cells organized for a specific function so you can see here uh, there are two main features of a tissue what are those two main features first one is the tissue is made up of collection of cells of same shape or it can be different shapes same shape cell same shaped cells of different shaped cells and second feature is perform one common feature so one tissue is perform a one common function one common function here we have to do activity 12.3 in this activity we have to observe uh, a animal tissue and a plant tissue by using light microscope here uh, they have taken cardiac muscle tissue and the blood tissue as animal tissues and as plant tissue they have taken the lower epidermal tissue of the plant leaf here you can see the three pictures first two are animal tissues animal tissues first one is cardiac tissue in cardiac tissue cardiac tissue means heart patient heart patient the tissues in our heart so in cardiac tissue you can see there are same shaped most of the same shaped cells and we can take the blood tissue in blood tissue also you can see this same shaped cells and look at the plant tissue the lower epidermal of the plant leaf you here you can see the two types of cells so clearly observe these cells so here we can realize that the tissue is made up of a same shape cells or different shape cells and it perform one common feature